All right, so check it out. What I want to do is I want to make sure, I, I mean, I think you guys have pretty much everything, okay? So you should have dimensions already. You should have the wall set up to the right thickness. You did a great job uh, back in 3D showing stuff, all right? Like showing all the different elements that you needed to, all right? But you got to recognize there's a difference between a 3D view and what's modeled, all right? And then what is shown on pretty much like a drawing or something that was drafted, okay? So what I'm looking for in the actual plan view is some additional information that's not shown and then maybe even to hide some stuff that we modeled. All right, so I had you build the model really kind of so that you could see what the foundation was actually going to look like in real life. But again, these are the plans and we want to try to reflect those as much as possible in like a drafting view, okay? So here's what I'm looking for. I want you to try to get some of the text on here that's shown. All right, I told you you don't have to do the doors and you don't have to do the windows, so you can leave that stuff out. All right, but try to get some of the text back on here. Um, aside from that, you have like these little dashed lines that represent the footings. All right, so I do want you to show the dashed lines that represent the footings. So here's what we're going to do we're going to hide footings that you currently see in the view. So you can just hide those. All right, we're going to hide the floor slab. All right, so to pick the floor slab, the floor slab is a little bit trickier to actually select. So what I'm doing is I'm going to just grab or highlight everything in the view, and I'm going to use the little filter tool in the bottom right-hand corner. So if you use the filter tool, you can pick, like, check none, and then we know the slab is a floor, so we can grab just the floor by itself. We can hide that. All right, and now we have to set up or we have to represent some little, like, dashed lines that represent where the edges of the footing are going to be. All right. So over here, remember we were working with, these are, they're saying 10 inch walls. These are really supposed to be eight inch walls in the back. If I just use my annotate tab and then work with detail lines, this is the first thing you guys are gonna have questions about. Just give me a heads up. If you use the annotate tab and detail lines, when you go into detail lines, there's a bunch of different types of lines you can draw with. By default, you're on thin lines. All right, we don't really want a thin line. We want to have a hidden line. So the, the hidden line that comes up inside of the brackets, all right, that's going to be like a black dashed line. There's another one that's in here. Just be cautious of it. Don't, don't use that one. I think, it says, I think it says hidden lines. All right, that one comes up green. We don't want to use that one. So use the one that just says hidden, all right? And we're going to use a line type like that in place where those uh, footings are going to be shown just to represent where they're going to be at. Okay? And there's a really fast way to draw them, but uh, just make sure you're on the right type. Okay? So if you use a little pick, pick lines tool, all right, and then just key in an offset, you can use that offset to control like where those lines are drawn. Um, let's see. We know these are 8 inch walls. You need to show. Uh, well, let's see. If you go four inches out here and four inches over here, let's just check really quick. It's a little bit big, right? Yeah, it's one inch over. So. Let's see. What did you? So we'll, we'll go three inches over. Yeah, it should be four inches for you guys. I had the 10 inch wall type in, so my walls were a little bit off. But that's basically like what I want you to do. I want you to use the dashed lines, draw them in place, represent where those footings are gonna be. You do probably have to go back and clean them up. Uh, Cody, your math was right. My wall type was the wrong thickness. All right, so. All right, but put those dashed lines in to represent where those are gonna be located. Use uh, some text, use text annotations. Try to annotate as best as you can. All right, the plans. When you're done with them, all right, I'm looking for a drawing sheet with the basement plans on them. All right, it should come up pretty much ready to go. I got this one extra view in here, but you can go ahead and you can turn in that basement plan drawing sheet that's already set up for you when you're finished. Okay, it'll have the basement plans on it. Just get the lines, get as much annotation on there as you possibly can, and we're good.